up everybody welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel this is living in grand junction colorado so when you guys come out here for a visit if you do nothing else you have to take the 22 23 mile colorado national monument drive it's absolutely incredible we've done the drive before but this time we're gonna stop at every overlook so you can check it out for yourself we're gonna do it right now What is going on everybody? I'm Robert Hayes and along with my wife Christy and the rest of the team we are the Hayes Home Group right here in gorgeous Grand Junction, Colorado. Hey, if you guys are thinking about moving out this way, we are helping a ton of people do the same, but we can't help you unless you reach out. So the information popping up below, give us a phone call, shoot us a text, send us that email, even send the carrier pigeon. We've got your back with any questions that you might have, and we will always have your back when you're ready to make that move here to gorgeous Grand Junction. So I've made my way a little bit up, not too far, about halfway, maybe not even half, way this here is the top of serpents trail which is something else you're gonna find up here on the monument there's probably over a dozen hiking trails this actually used to be the old road to get down to the valley back in the day now it's to they call it at the exercise trail people just say it's probably one of the more the easiest trails here on the monument it's pretty mellow but you know it's definitely a nice jaunt up the hill here but this is the ending spot the beginning is basically just beyond that ranger station where that sign was and it'll take you right up here but guys you're coming out here to basically enjoy these gorgeous natural landscapes so we thought thought we would stop at all the overlooks overlooks and let you guys see just the absolutely gorgeous surroundings up here on the monument before you do that make sure you gas up there's no gas stations on this 22 or 23 mile stretch and we've had people there's a guardrail right here but most of the drive there's no guardrails we've had clients go halfway up and say nope I'm not doing it we're going back down it is not that big of a deal guys trap the speed limits like 15 miles an hour so no big deal let's keep going so I should probably clarify I started on the east entrance and we're gonna head west that drops you right back down onto highway 340 basically uh, at the beginning of Fruta essentially so uh, when you're when you're looking at some of these overlooks understand I'm going east to west you can go either way you can go from the west to the east of course as well now the monument itself is probably about 2,000 feet above the valley floor and some of the more prevalent wildlife that you're gonna see is mainly bighorn sheep but you'll see all kinds of incredible wildlife throughout here overlook number one cold shivers point a 300 drop to the bottom of the valley floor Christy and I used to come up here when we were dating and just hang out over here look at the gorgeous valley below maybe bring some snacks a little picnic I mean guys it's just absolutely gorgeous up here can't even hear a pin drop it's so beautiful so quiet it's March right now it's about 42 degrees I'll probably be pulling the sweater off though in about an hour because it does get uh, a little warmer throughout the midday but cold shivers point here you go let's go to the next one here we are at Red Canyon next stop and again just another gorgeous gorgeous overlook here on top of the monument. Now, what we just passed the cold shivers was a turnoff to Glade Park. And that'll take you in the summertime they have at the volunteer fire station there at Glade Park. Movies under the stars. They've got a, you know barbecue grills out there, hot dogs, burgers, bring the kiddos. I think it's like, I don't know, five bucks to get in. And they have a giant outdoor screen, beautiful, cool summer nights. That'll be a turnoff again right after that cold shivers point the first one that we saw that'll take you up in the glade park this is why you guys are coming out here now as far as the uh 
the wildlife with the big horn sheep. You might even see some bald eagles, uh, all kinds of fun stuff up here. I talked to Nathan, he's the ranger for the monument. We went, Christy and I went to a fundraiser a couple of weekends ago and he was telling me something crazy and I get my facts wrong, forgive me, but it's pretty close. He said there are, I wanna say 600 undiscovered paleontological did I say that word right? Dinosaurs, fossils all throughout the monument that they still need to cover or uncover, I should say. They already have Riggs Hill and Dinosaur Hill where they've uncovered some dinosaur fossils, but just some untapped uh, resources up here that are still left to be found. Let's head on to the next one. Next up is what many people consider to be one of the most spectacular overlooks up here on the monument, Ute Canyon. There's a little bit of a trail to get down to the view spot. Now, a lot of these uh, overlooks, they do have a trail system, so it's not like you, you know, just have to stop, walk, look at the overlook, head back into the car. You can hike some of these overlooks as well. They have little hiking trails and it'll take you right back up to where you started. Another thing I would recommend that you do, just a suggestion, bring a bottled water, maybe some sunscreen, and in the winter time, definitely bring some layers. It's definitely a little colder up here than it's going to be on the valley floor. Well, let's pop down here and I'll show you Ute Canyon. I mean guys, on a day like today, which way do I want to go? It's just absolutely breathtaking. Definitely, uh, you know, spring is here, so you got some folks driving the monument this morning. It's only about nine o'clock, and but it never really gets too busy. I pulled right up into the parking spot, uh, saw, uh, stall, if I can talk. Uh, I was the only car there, but there's definitely some traffic going back and forth. So it was probably, oh, I don't know maybe a hundred yards to get deck back down to the view spot, but wait until you guys see this. This is only number three. There's probably 12 overlooks. So we got a little bit ways to go here, guys. I'm gonna try to look down so I don't kill myself. Now I've never been able to spot it. Maybe I will today. Apparently there's two rock windows and I still haven't been able to find them. There is the Ute Canyon Overlook. Just absolutely stunning. Now, if you guys see those rock windows, let me know where they're at. I know on one of these, I don't think it's this one, you can basically see a portion of the cliff that's actually collapsed, you know, I don't know, thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of years ago. I think it's one of the uh, overlooks coming up. But I'm going to shut up and just turn my camera in so you can see it. That's why you guys are coming out here. On to the next one. I still can't get over how ginormous that bighorn sheep was. <laughs> it was, looked like it was about to uh, charge my car. That wouldn't have been good. So I was only one overlook off. This is where that uh, cliff, uh, part of the cliff fell off, hence the name Fallen Rock here at this overlook. And there she is, that's the Fallen Rock. There might be two, one here perhaps, but you can see pretty obvious that that's what they're alluding to there in the background, just absolutely gorgeous. They a little windy, I hope you can still hear me. But each one of these overlooks, it's gonna kinda show you, you know, what's going on here. And especially this one, a slow fall. There's the rock there. And there it is right there in the background. So 
fallen rock. Let's head on to the next one. Just up the road, really, from Fallen Rock is Upper Ute Canyon. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous view here at Upper Ute. Now, a lot of people compare the Mount, the National Monument to like the Grand Canyon, a mini Grand Canyon. And you can certainly understand why. Well, we made our way to the highest point here on the Rim Rock Drive with overlooks, the Highland View, the gorgeous book cliffs off to the north. That's the North Mountain Range there in Grand Junction. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Little tip for you guys. If you're going to the ranger station and you're just doing a day pass, it's 25 bucks. So go ahead and get yourself an annual pass. You guys are gonna be up here a lot more than you think, and that's 45. So if you make a mistake and you spend the 25 for the day pass and you redeem that within a week, they'll credit you that 25 you paid already towards that annual pass. So you'll pay an extra 20 bucks and just go ahead and grab the annual pass. Highland View. Let's head on to the next one. So this is Artist Point, and the reason why they call it Artist Point, apparently, is because of the biological and chemical kind of combination that uh, you know delivers some of these vibrant hues and different colors. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We're almost there, guys. We're uh, probably a little over halfway. So Artist Point, just down the way from Highlands View, which is, again, the, uh, the highest elevation overlook here on Rim Rock Drive. Let's keep going. So this is the Monument Canyon View, which is super cool. Got a little kind of cave down over there. But look at these incredible formations over here. Call them Coke ovens, just because of the unusual shape of those rock formations down yonder. There I go, saying the word yonder again. I'm not from Oklahoma or anything either. And then you got the gorgeous Grand Mesa off to the east. Let's keep going. What I failed to mention when it comes to that annual pass or day pass, they definitely do have discounts if you're a veteran or for seniors, so certainly take advantage of that. So coming up on the Grand View, another favorite for a lot of folks. The next one's also another favorite, and I'll tell you why when we get there. But this is called the Grand View, and the reason why they call it that is you can see absolutely everything. You've got the book cliffs, you've got the monument, and you've got the Grand Mesa all wrapped into one. And I'll show it to you. The Grand View. Gorgeous, gorgeous spires. The book cliffs, valley below. And then you come out to the east and you've got the Grand Mesa. There's another little lookout spot over there. Might be a little bit better, but you get the gist of it right here. The grand view. Let's keep going. Yeah. Okay, we're on to Independence Monument Overlook. And most folks, not most, a lot of folks will claim this to be their favorite overlook. John Otto 
one of the advocates in the early days for the Colorado National Monument, decided to get some rock climbers and put an American flag at the top of that uh, monument there, hence Independence Monument. They still do it every 4th of July, so if you're up here on the 4th, you're gonna see some climbers planting Old Glory right at the top of Independence Monument. Okay guys, we've made our way to the visitor center right behind me where you can use the facilities. They've got a little store in there, buy your monument swag. Uh, and you can sign your kiddos up or your grand kiddos up for the Junior Ranger program. That's super fun. We've had some clients do that for their kids. There's a little booklet that they got to get signed off on. They get a little badge. It's pretty cool. There's also another overlook. I'm just beat. There's another overlook uh, on the opposite side of the visitor center. Little museum in here too. Kiddos can push the buttons. Kind of shows how the monument was formed way back, you know, millions of years ago. There's camping up here too, guys. That giant rockscape there just beyond that. There's a, a campground. There's an amphitheater there where they'll hold uh, events at the amphitheater. They just refurbished that, so that's super cool. And then you start heading down towards the west entrance. You're going to see, a, uh, I think, one or two kind of mini overlooks, not as, as big as the ones we just saw. And then Balanced Rock, which is a pretty cool uh, little uh, geographic formation, giant rock just sitting there. Looks like it's about to fall over. And then you're heading out out towards the west exit I should say so there you go guys that's the monument overlooks uh, it's just absolutely stunning definitely something you will have to do when you guys come on up here uh, and then just enjoy the day so again as much as we love doing these dang videos guys we'd love nothing more than to absolutely crush your real estate goals when heading out this way so the information popping back up below, reach out any way that you know how. Give us a phone call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or yep, even send the carrier pigeon. We've got your back, days, nights, weekends, when heading out here to Grand Junction. Until the next video, we'll catch you later.